welcome back to another Tuesday Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to show you how you can clean your surfaces um, if you ever get any of our uh, liquid dye on any tabletop. This works really well with a stainless steel surface like I have. I've used uh, this cleaning method on um, uh, Formica, like those kitchen countertops, um, as well as uh, some granite and stone countertops. This method will work as well. Um, we're going to show you two different ways that you can clean uh, any spills of your liquid dye. First, using just a, uh, a liquid oil. We're using a fractionated coconut oil. Um, and also using uh, what I would consider the better method, our uh, mold cleaner. So I'm going to uh, first make sure you want to make sure you have gloves on just to protect your skin if you have a manicure or anything like that. Um, the mold cleaner can sometimes like dull the shine of your manicure, so wearing gloves is definitely important. Um, but I'm going to take the blue sky blue liquid dye and I'm just going to put a couple of drops uh, on my tabletop here so that we can have a mess to clean up for you guys. And you want to make sure you have some really absorbent paper towels. I've got those here. And I'm just going to take this first and just kind of smear it around. Now you can see I've got that liquid dye all over my tabletop there. So I'm going to kind of divide this down the middle. We'll clean one side with the mold cleaner and one side with the coconut oil. So I'm going to first take a few paper towels and you can kind of wad them up or fold them up however you want. And I'm just going to take some of this here and squirt some on my paper towel, kind of move it around until it absorbs. And I'm going to do a swipe here and just show you how easily this cleans up. You can see that takes a good portion of it away just with one simple little swipe. So I'm just going to kind of clean that up. This should work with any uh, kind of cooking oil that you have in your kitchen. Regular vegetable oil would work. Um, I just happened to have that fractionated coconut oil, so I wanted to use that for this tutorial. Okay, so now you can see I've got one half that's been cleaned with the, um, the coconut oil that worked pretty well. Um, but I really do think that using the mold cleaner, it comes up a little bit easier. So same thing I did with the coconut oil. I'm just going to take my mold cleaner here and just kind of splash some on the paper towel. And then I'm going to take my paper towels and do another swipe. You can see how much cleaner, honestly, I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but how much better that actually does at picking up the dye. So I'm just gonna do a couple more passes here, get all of that cleaned up. Splash just a little bit more. All right, so you can see all of that dye has been cleaned up. My paper towels are soaked in the blue sky blue liquid dye. Again, this will work on many different surfaces. Just make sure that once you're done cleaning everything off, you go in with your favorite dis disinfectant spray. It can be 409, Mr. Clean, whatever you prefer, um, and just clean off the surface and try to remove any of the mold cleaner that might be left behind. We hope you guys found this uh, tip helpful. Come back next week for more tips and tricks.